Hello again, my unconventional conventionalists. Welcome to a second helping of Bad Girls Rants. Now, this particular installment is very important to me because it is a anonymous submitted request. But yeah, I still take those. If any of you guys has an issue that you want to speak about, but you're just too shy and timid, or maybe even fearful to do it yourself, throw it my way. I'll talk about it for you. I gotcha. Now what was requested for me to speak about today is a woman's right to be pro-choice. Uh, first, let's start with a misconception of what it means to be pro-choice. Being pro-choice does not automatically mean that you support the act of abortion itself. You can be against the act of abortion, but still be pro-choice. Because the reality is, being pro-choice means you respect that it is none of your goddamn business. A lot of times, health is an important factor in the decision to have an abortion. There are situations where allowing continued growth of the fetus could severely hurt or even kill the mother. And me personally, I think situations like that, abortion is understandable. However, getting right back down to the basics, pro-choice means that you respect the decision of what to do with the unborn child is strictly the business of the mother, her family, and her doctor. Not anyone else's. Oh, and uh, how about we cut the bullshit about C-sections? It, it, it's birth, okay? It qualifies as birth. I was a C-section baby, and so were both of my brothers, okay? Some women's vaginas just aren't constructed right to be popping out this seven or eight pound motherfucking human being, okay? C-sections are perfectly validated methods of birth. If you have an issue that you would really like for me to speak about on this blog, then please send me a private message on my Facebook page under the same name, Bad Girls Bitch Blog. I would love to speak on your behalf. It's what I'm here for. Thank you for watching. Salute! Bad of the bone. Bad of the bone. Bad.